I have a Chad. Alright, you f***ed up Muppet. Have you learned your lesson? I don't know what he did wrong, but I assume he was getting a little too hot for his britches, so, uh... Try, try pulling... You have to imagine what it's like for Ichigo every other, every three or four days, whenever he actually has to use Cone and put him in his body. Yeah, that is true. And Cone overtly go, uh, says every time he goes out that he's going to go and harass women in Ichigo's body. Yeah. So every couple of days, Ichigo's friends must be like, man, he, he, he got real schizophrenic when, yeah. w uh, when he got into high school. <laughs> the pressure's really gone to him. He was normal until a couple of months ago. Boys, boys, it looks like Kona's relatively reeled in these days, so don't have to worry about that overtly. Frankly, he's probably just trying to sexually harass Rukia before anything else. That's the go-to. Whenever she's not around, then he goes crazy. Yeah. Chad really wanted to beat down Kona. He just needed the opening. See, Nigel, that's exactly... That's where you're exactly wrong. <laughs> Chad, Chad wants to take Kona for himself. We literally get to see this in one of the early episodes where there's, that, where there's some downtime in the substitute arc where... Cone and the doll is wandering around by himself, thinking, "Hey, if I just, if I look like a cute doll in the street, some unsuspect some unsuspected woman is gonna say, "Oh, that doll doesn't deserve that," and take him home and bathe him." I thought it was the most fucked up. And, the yeah. boys, what's up? What's up, guys? And the first one that uh, that sees him is Chad. Yeah. And so he has to run away from Chad. Oh, you know, I just realized also there's probably gonna be some gay panic. Yep, there he is, gay panic right there. Oh no, shirtless men. Who hears? Oh. Cone the noticing. plush just became the communal sponge. Yamato, Yamamoto's second in command. Actually, kind of ripped. I don't know, I expect that one. Oh, yeah. Damn. That's a Zymon. That would be way bigger. Fuck. He, he doesn't look sufficiently big to you? No. Uh, I mean, he could be... I thought he'd be bigger, honestly. More... Then again, this it's is all kind of our style in general. It's all in his chest. It's not really in his arms. Yeah. Huh. Fucking Marecchio, though. Is this, like, the only time we ever see... Uh... Uh, his name? Kyoroku. Kyoroku. This is like the only time I've ever seen him shirtless before. Yep. Damn. I huh. can't imagine he ever got any... any uh, I can't imagine he works out that much. Cards. Yeah. <laughs> I really do like how Cone by Blood War arc pretty much calmed down our respect that he will live proper as Ichigo if he dies. I thought it was something fucked up and probably a little bit funny by extension. I imagine hmm. that when, whenever Ichigo and Rukia are off finding uh, hollows, uh, because Chappie is in Rukia's body, I imagine that Cone's just trying to sexually harass, harass Chappie Rukia. Probably. Like, so I guess that's the only W that Ichigo Rukia shippers are ever going to get. Except, except the Chappie is strong enough to break uh, Soul Ichigo's arm, so Cone doesn't stand a chance. That is true. I just noticed Yamamoto trying to flex also, also, and man, he is so much bigger than that in the yeah in the fake hardcore town. Is Chappie the, the duck in the raincoat? No, Chappie is the rabbit. Look at Moreccio built like E Honda. Yeah, you know, I noticed one of the other like um, non -con uh, inconsequential uh, Soul Reaper down there too. That was very funny. Yep, like the old dude with the mustache. That was hilarious. Yeah, they just went with everyone they had. That would be the ending of the game. Okay, that, I see. It's one. it's way down there. I didn't even see him before. Okay, there we go. Um, I believe there is also like an additional game mode, I want to say. Yeah, there are a couple of things. Yeah. There's a mission mode here. Yes. This is how, where, you, this is how you unlock characters, from what I understand. Yeah, you, I, you beat matches. For, uh, not even... For, you don't have to fulfill conditions most of the time. Like, three of them that I've done so far do. It's not super important. At least for our uh, for our sake, yeah. Since it's uh, we were just covering the story, there these go can go on for a while though. Some of these fights can go on for three minutes plus per individual fight, so Damn. it was a real strain. Otherwise, I would have had them all done by they, now. They really got their own mission one, uh, mission fifty one from melee. That's very funny, but no, it's also very interesting because. Uh, so I was looking on the wiki. Did it actually elaborate that uh, that you need point? Uh, they unlock characters. It's like S rank gives you two marks, A rank gives you one mark, and then, or B rank might also, and then C rank of doesn't give you anything. Something to that capacity. Kind of weird. Yeah. It's a little bit stingy, but I guess it's kind of straightforward in that regard. Kind of like unlocking characters through mission modes in um, Revolution 2 and 3. So that's something. Well, more so 2, but you know, details. 
Yeah, they have a uh, two to four player uh, mode right. they can otherwise do. All right, I'm very curious. Do we have an actual gallery mode? Yes. I don't know what buying any of these do. I assume if they're mics, it's just switching your uh, menu character. See, I was going to guess a sound test or something. Almost all of them. Ooh. Wait, isn't this a thing in uh, Versus Crusade? You get, you're getting closer. Yeah. Not quite. Chatterblade also has a model of Europe. I remember distinctly that Versus Crusade has like its own uh, almost like trophy menu of some sort. Yes, but not in this exact style. Yeah. What game do you remember having trophy? All right. Soul Res had these trophies. Huh. That's how you can tell it's a Sony game. Yeah, that's made by uh, Rackjin. That's true, because their label is on both. Admittedly, those look a hell of a lot better, but that's to be expected. Go, there's only one gen in the future, isn't it? Yeah, I was gonna say earlier actually before I I, I forgot it. Um, yeah, despite the fact that this game dropped in 2006, which literally feels like an eternity to us to go. Um, that was actually it was very, 18 years. That was l very late into the PS2's life cycle. That's a fascinating thing about Naruto games too. You Just, said uh, October PS3 would have would be out in a month from then. Yeah, practically. Yeah, it's it's very interesting because um, sorry, I'm just ogling or hearing a little bit. Yeah, this is why camera angles matter. Yeah, that definitely is. This is why camera angles matter. Yep, I've never seen people emphasize her side boob before. That's kind of nuts. <laughs> anyway, um. Yeah, so despite the fact that this came out in October 2006, which is like a lifetime for us to go, nearly 20 years, um, that was actually super late into the PS2's life cycle. So as a result, like, this is using very late tech in the PS2 that people have already found out. Like, genuinely, there's some crazy shit that was coming around at that time period. There's ah, also, fuck there's also, one, there's also one of the things that's fascinating about Naruto is the fact that um, I believe the original games actually did launch way sooner in the PS2's life cycle, like 2004, 2003, versus in America where it started coming out. They released in, like, fucking 2006, 2007. It's very wild in that regard. Yeah. All right, you're looking at something up. I wonder what it could be. PS3 era didn't feel like the PS3 era until 2012. You know 2012 was when it was basically over. Yeah. You know, Alex, you're not necessarily too far off the mark because for a long time, PS3 was slagging in sales. It took the slim cut, uh, price cuts and Xbox not releasing anything of too much consequence outside of Halo Reach for them to catch up. Like, legitimately, I remember the first time that Sony sales actually did exceed the Xbox was the release of Mass Effect 2 on the PS3, which caused a huge uproar with the Mass Effect fans because it's like, it's not a Microsoft exclusive anymore. And I don't think it was going to stay that way but sure hey all my boruto heads in the audience can you tell me who designed the members of kara wasn't that the guy who, was that was that ikimoto uh, was uh it was ikimoto i thought so okay is he one of the thieves or is he just the pedophile uh wait are you talking about ikimoto himself or are you talking about this character design from my area? ikimoto oh uh, no. Is he, is he a plagiarist or is he just a pedophile? Uh, do, 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 do. I don't. I know he's an asshole. I know he smokes. I don't think he's a pedophile. Although Sarada. Yeah, there is Sarada. Sar dressing this twelve-year-old like a prostitute more than any other anime character almost I've ever seen. That is very true. Um, but my point, what I was getting around to this, if he if he was also one of the blatant uh, plagiarists in terms of just stealing stuff from other manga. This is literally just Ishiki. Ishiki is just stolen <laughs> from this design of Mayuri. Honestly. Look at him. Yeah, and you know what's very funny about that is the fact that Ishiki's got one of the better designs of Boruto characters. After he turns into Bone Man, when he loses. Yeah. Ugh. Honestly, Ugh. I, I do like Ishiki's design. Way better than a lot of other shit we've seen so far. Oh my god, especially these days. This. Dang. You can't really get a good angle on this. No. Also, the lighting is just kind of fucked. Yeah. Although this definitely very much seems to be the one, the model from Heat Soul. Also, yeah, unfortunately with the... I don't know if it's the emulator or if it's the actual fault of the game itself, but there is a lot of, like, after imaging slash aliasing going on with the characters that makes it a little hard to see. Them it almost looks like they're doubled. These, 
these might be lower res than the actual uh, in-game uh, combat models because you've seen his intro like 15 times. You know he looks better than this. Yeah. But um, he has a record of drawing girls with pencil skirts while drawing women in a long, high, covering clothes. Yeah. I, I think... Uh, he's not being the accusations anytime soon. Get the fuck up face from her front. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these characters are very much drawn to be looked at from the side rather than from the front. Someone tell me if this is the pose he also makes on his uh, trophy in Soul Rest because this feels like the. It feels like exactly I see this one. Like, I feel like I always see this pose. Yeah. Why is it tan inside of his rub? Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Weird. Well, actually, that's. Oh, no, they got the detail on most of them. The inside of their uh, Captain's Howries are actually supposed to be different colors. Yeah. Oh, Under his is supposed to be white. Oh, don't worry, Alex. I'll give you plenty more context about Rock when we get to Part 5. <laughs> don't, don't you worry about that one. We will inundate you with knowledge about JoJo. I, w I will get you into Part 5 yet and get you into JoJo in general because you deserve better than Boruto. You know, I was going to go on a thing about don't skip parts, but honestly, fuck it. If you see something that interests you about Part three or four or five or what have you, just go for it. Honest to God, because part I, one, if, if if part one doesn't seem like your thing after like two episodes, just skip it. It's really not that interesting or important. Plus, the you don't miss out a whole lot. Plus, the materials of part one don't come up again until part three. Part two is pretty standalone by itself. But I started Taylor in part five recently because of the fact that it's pretty self-contained, so we don't have to worry about too much about it. Plus, I really want to watch part five in general again. This is really unfortunate lightning because the cell shading here makes it look like she pissed herself. I kind of see it. I, I do actually see it. Jeez. Okay, cell shading is really doing some fucked up shit here. Yeah. With the robe. Oh, yeah. Lightning just also isn't great. I'll have to look up screen caps for this game at some point, like from either actual hardware or from other people to see if it's just this mangled in general. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to get great screen caps on hardware from a PS2 game. Damn, Skippy. And we've circled back around. I'm glad it at least gives you all these up front. Or do you have to buy these? Oh, you have to buy them, and that's not all of them, because I don't have every character yet. I'm missing like four ah, or five of them. I see. Anyway, time for portrait. <laughs> I don't feel so good, Mr. Kurosaki. These images definitely feel like they're great. Oh, yeah, I know. They're giving me heavy vibes of what they did for Costa Ninja. Yep, definitely the same doves. No, this is more like uh, the ones you would see in Shattered Blade. See, what I'm actually talking about directly right now is that is while Shattered Blade definitely come, does come to mind, there's a lot of, like, screen caps provided by Piero to uh, GNT 3 and 4 as far as for the story mode, such that you get some wacky shit. Oh, I didn't even see him the first time. Uh, oh, Kenpachi in the bottom left, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, uh, Kurama Dani. Oh, yeah. The guy just to the left of Chad. I was talking about him. Yeah. No, no, no. The guy uh, bottom right corner. The Oh, yeah. The uh, the new uh, Karakura Town uh, guy. Yeah. They I had a title. I forgot what title they gave him. Yeah. And uh, Ganchu being embarrassed of all these guys three times bigger than turning away. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking uh, G Donbo. Just big back there, yeah. I wish they did more of these. They, they should have made these arcade endings. You could get like many of them. Yeah. I feel like they should have just done more in general. These, I don't know what they are. They apparently didn't unlock any of them. Or these. So here's the thing, guys. Uh, PCSX2 is unfortunately still not great with enabling cheat codes. Otherwise, we would just use one to unlock everything and show you well what this game has to offer. Unfortunately, the cheat table for PCSX2 is very fucked. Um, even RPCS3 is better about it right now because I believe the cheat table is more accessible, but you gotta do some funky shit. I believe the nightly version is getting better about it with how it playing cheat codes, but it's still very finicky. Um, it's very awkward. But that notwithstanding, yeah, yeah I did buy the other characters to put on the menu. You did. I believe you bought most of them at least. Yeah, basically everyone I had unlocked already. Yeah. Hi, Momo. You're going to go through the ringer before long. Yeah, even though you already are. Kind of pleasant, though. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, no, I was mentioning the top of this. The menu for this game are fucking nice. Damn. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's weird. It's um it's like a color it's a, like a colorful version of the menu from BT1 if you've ever seen that. Yeah, I have seen it in passing before. Actually no, actively before. You know, if you should um I I do recommend checking out my let's play at least for DNT EX1 because this very much gives me vibes of that and a little bit of two because those games do try this a little bit but are very expressive. The revolution menus are kind of gross though. Yeah, it, it Where it's just Sakura on the right or left of the screen in front of the menu. It 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 do be like that. Luckily, EX is way better about that. But I as I said before, man, Storm's menus just make me wish for EX again or DNT. Jesus. Yeah. So colorful, so expressive, just popping, just animation everywhere. So nice. I mean, I kind of appreciate them showing off the fidelity of their animation by having Naruto literally jump from. But oh yeah. That's only really kind of appealing the first like two times. It's not something you can just sit there and jam to the music like fucking at most of them. Mini is much better than Revolution 3. Yeah, true. I maybe Revolution 3 I remember has good music, but the same model they use for Sakura in that game is actually better than the EX1 funny enough. If you could bring us for a mo okay, her, her hair is brown here. And also her Hiari is a little bit blue. If you could bring us to a temporary away screen for a minute, I do kind of want to pull up videos of uh the special attacks because i think there are also combo attacks too that the game doesn't tell you how to use. huh okay oh did you actually want to take a quick break no if you could just put up an away screen for a minute while i get i get that sort of on my screen so nothing. oh um sure okay well i guess we're gonna take a quick uh two minute break uh be right back uh brandon wants to show off things in a minute uh, although i guess i'll still be here it gave me a Mathis Rukio Omega Lol. Damn, that does sound pretty funny. Let's find out. I'm going through now. Okay. All right. So after a little bit of an angling with technology, we have managed to actually get this up and running. So, um, we have some ultimates from this game that do look fairly finicky, or not finicky, do look fairly nifty. Not sure why Brandon's microphone is not unmuting right now, though. I imagine if something happened. It's going to be a little bit gone to shit. <laughs> it's not going to pick either of us up between that, but that's okay. I'll, I'll be uh, offering narration as this goes through. Uh, we Fair enough. Oh, we still have this one. Oh, that's very fucking funny. Could be. Definitely could be. Good sound effects, though. Holy shit. Genuinely not that bad. You wouldn't think you actually need to activate Bonkai for that one. Is hers a counter? Oh my god, it might be a counter. Only a little bit annoying to try and land against a, a, a CPU. God damn it, it has more impact than what she usually does anyway. Okay, no, also I'm seeing the gameplay. It does look like the graphics are a little bit screwy with the cell shading, even outside of emulation. So no, it's not, it's not us. I don't know. I'm looking at this and maybe it could be I mean, it could be actual hardware because depending on how many years ago this would have come out, people would have actually had HDMI output for PS2 at the time. Izuru and Rankiku did fight, didn't they? Yes, they did. That was actually one of the big sticking points of Slate Soul Society arc. And it's one where it's just a giant's... Okay, no, it wasn't just a giant skull attacking them. Alright. How's this one going to look? Brown eyes. Still got the wrong eyes. I thought they're green. Okay. <laughs> Whiff. Damn, Kavanoi didn't get that one off. I think I only played her like one time, so, eh. Oh. Oh, 
Just barfing poison mist. I guess that's probably fair. All right. <laughs> he does the one thing and he doesn't do it well at this point. Is he shooting at get to get through that? That's kind of cool, actually. Huh. Oh, I thought he fired through, through the actual uh, cloth. Actually firing off flare. Good lord, you sometimes forget Momo does some cool things. Yeah. Now what's this one? Wait, did we see this one? Okay. Yep. Uh, to be fair, I guess that's probably the best you're going to get with, with that one. Question, are we supposed to hear Brandon because I can't? Uh, his microphone is suddenly designed to not turn on. I don't know why. Uh, fuck it. Why not try it? The recording's already mostly good for this part of the recording anyway. Yo, can you hear me? Oh, we are actually you are back in. I'm glad it didn't magically lose that. It's one of the things I love about Elgato or Elgato. OBS. One, one of the things I love about OBS is the fact that if you fuck up during recording, you can keep going. Sorry about that. We had uh for some reason his Fi Fi microphone was not turning back on or letting him unmute. His mics are really temperamental. A little bit, but I think only in regards to some things. I, st I think I do still like this microphone better than the Yeti though. Yeah. I mean, it gives you the option for something better down the line, but we want to buy a $700 uh, interface. I don't think we have the room for an XLR input, input, honestly. Those things actually aren't terribly big. They're like this big. It's more so the real estate. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. These are something that we didn't get to unlock. <laughs> Shout out to Kurt knowing what the Rhino is, Ratchet and Clank. Hell yeah. <laughs> I feel like we've been here. Oh, no. Okay. Wait, does why did you go get two? Apparently. Huh. This feels weird. Oh. Oh. Right. So there's a mechanic, a gimmick, if you will, where you can have characters wielding other characters what? on Pocto. What the f <laughs> Um. Yeah, that's a gimmick in this game. I think you have to unlock it. Huh. That's really fucking cool, actually. Yeah, I first saw this in a video in oh 2008. I didn't know what game it was. I never found out until literally right this second. Wow. Wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. By all means, give him a Zompok toe. Make him more powerful. He was using Orihime Shun Shun Rika. I saw that. You know, this is actually <laughs> just lore accurate. No, he can do all this shit. He was he, a member of Stealth. He literally was in the Stealth Force. Yeah, he can just do this. I mean, if he hits you with the illusion first, he can you can make you think he's doing this. Yeah, these are all uh, Tokus Mugetsu illusions. Man, this is like the third character we've had doing fucking Getsu Getsu. Yeah, but it's Cone. You gotta have Cone do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And now we're just being ironic. This is just very funny. His eyes are purple there. Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I low-key heard you were laughing there. That was very odd. <laughs> A little have, disconcerting, not gonna lie. I think they had everyone record everyone's attack dialogue. I think you are right about that. So we had, I think, two more to show after this one because this game was very fast, but there's some neat shit to actually show off. Hey, Melkor Acid, I forgot they gave me this. The Quincy Ghost Soul Reaper. Yeah, basically. Uh, but with Mayuri, no less, considering Mayuri killed his grandfather. Okay, something about uh, soccer. Sorry, football. Okay, neat skybox. Huh. No, okay, no, this is emulated. All right, so it's not just us. It, it looks like there is just some fucky shit with the emulator. Yeah, I couldn't leave this alone. This needed to be seen. So is this like an actual like game mode where you can play soccer? I don't know if it's a mode, but the, yeah, this is a thing you could unlock.
Everyone having their own unique reactions to her boobs just jiggled. I yeah, they did. Okay. Okay, you're no. fucking dead, Conan. I'm sorry. Wait, he's gonna punch it? He is. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for shit like that. <laughs> Foul. He hit him with the ball. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I love how he has the unique shit here. <laughs> How can you not say the PSG generation is the best one? <laughs> Rip ankle, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Zoe phone. We need to get this like the fucking the One Piece soccer special where Sanji kicks the ball around the planet and it loops around and hits them. Man, core memory unlocked. I completely forgot that one existed. We need to go and watch all the One Piece movies. We've only seen like four of them. Yeah. In non-sequential order. Shoots the ball out of a, a grenade launcher. Actually, like, it was already on the ground. He just shot it, like, <laughs> downward, almost. I feel like this basically would have happened. They predicted a filler episode. There's a filler episode later on where everyone has to play a game of Kamari, which is Japanese hacky sack. Yeah. Sorry, Renji, you just can't catch a break. <laughs> okay, so I imagine most of the Soul Reapers are going to be played straight. Probably. <laughs> he said, I'm sorry, Rangiku. <laughs> there is unique dialogue for each of these two. Holy shit. Yep. I won for you, Captain Eisen. Yep. <laughs> it's the classic. You can't not do it. I, I know. He's sorry, Jigo. You're just 12 degrees of dead. Hey, thank you, YouTuber, for pointing that subscribe up for me. <laughs> I really don't think that was going to make it past your Ruichi, honestly. Ball is different. <laughs> oh, I wanted him to trip and fall on his ass, too. I was wanting him to actually just smack <laughs> it with a Shikai. With <laughs> 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 the orb frame, it should just explode. <laughs> Nice. Nothing funny? Nah. I wanted him to do, to do the sliding on his knees, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we didn't start off with Conan. I forgot that. <laughs> That was pretty fun. <sighs> that would be hilarious if Tenkin uh, kicked the ball instead of See, I was thinking about that too. I'm glad I'm not the only one who had that thought. All right, next video. If there is one. I actually don't think there is one. Okay. So question, do you have why Ichigo unlocked? Probably not. Okay. Yeah, because we briefly saw it in... um. What the hell is it? We briefly saw in one of the uh, demos where if why you go actually activates Bokai, which you can't in this game. The very funny thing that happens is that it doesn't activate. Uh, it he doesn't have the white Hayori. It's actually the black one. Like I'm not even kidding about that because we had that before, or rather the game did it before the AIMA did that or anything did that. Just very fucking funny to think about. Oh no. <laughs> No, 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 no. This, this, this is peak. This is peak. This is the experience. This, this is what we had to deal with back in the day. The, the guy is doing Let's Plays on Nintendo DS using a handheld camcorder. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to need you guys to bear with us on this one because this is, good. this is, in fact, very much worth it. 
This is the experience. This is what it was like back in 2007. Oh, wait. He's also got the incorrect color cheek height. I just noticed that. Yep. Because it's supposed to be the inverse colorist. <laughs> yeah. And again, we, w we would get this on emulator, but unfortunately, again, uh, I had not working just yet. I had to finish all 50 missions, and there just wasn't time for that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Though, also, Chico's just not working too well for the emulator just yet, so yeah, it, it do be like that. <laughs> the video itself, I actually not have down. It's even better. This truly is peak. No, it did not. Damn uh, it, it didn't show us. Didn't even show it off either. Ah. Yeah, this is just the authentic 2008 experience. Actually, do you want to check the upload date for this video? Just scroll down a little bit. 11 years. Oh, dog. No, there was like no sound, dude. I, I, Alex, I'm sorry about that one. It wasn't just you. Okay, we're making one last trip through YouTube really fast before we actually call it quits because we, we do want to see if we can show us off because it's very fucking funny and the only time you ever see this. I'm, Alex, you saying that just makes me re re uh, realize that I am very grateful I did not do any Let's Plays of DS games sooner before I had emulators stand up and running. The most compressed. This is, I'm playing this on a, at a friend's house and they have a weirdly... Five by four TV screen. Oh man, Th this dude is a <laughs> this dude is beyond his time. Oh what? no! Ah fuck! I think he's using uh, YHGO as the dummy for all of this. I think I saw it, but I just don't know if um. This is where having. Time codes is very required for kinds of videos. Okay, well, if he's manually selecting every time, I imagine it has to go in some sort of order. That was it. Here to go. Uh, wait, that was, I think that was it. Hang on, up a little bit. Was that it? Toast show. Different white person. You know, actually, I feel like you might have had this one early on. You know what? Let's just scroll with the with the uh, arrows. Let's just skip around. Uh, go back. I think it. I saw one. Okay, it's Gein. No. These are the lengths we go to for content, boys. Because seriously, how the hell are you not gonna? have this in your video and I think is this a yeah okay that was a pause on the guys stuff don't ask what we're doing very complicated Mm. You know what? I think I'm okay with it. I got some money on my here. Here. I look around. Okay, so unfortunately, after much giving around, we have not been able to find this thing we were actually trying to acquire. And that's unfortunate, but well, I guess not surprising for this Wait. random. I feel like we've been here before. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Hey. hey. Slightly, um... Okay, you you guys are going to have to mostly take our word for it, but I believe you can all see this. The fact that, yes, this is, in fact, Haluichigo with the fucking black clothes because we didn't have the coloration for it yet, even in the manga. We hadn't seen in the manga yet Did what Hollow Ichigo doing a Bankai looks like. This is some Madara in Storm 3 shit with them getting it first before even the an they We had dubbed Madara before he even appeared in the anime sub. So good. And where they gave him two different wrong Sharingan in that game. Okay. Alright, don't worry. We're about to wrap in like
Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like my wife is getting ready to order food, so that's probably our key to wrap anyway. But that's totally okay because we have covered all our bases. Because that one specific thing, our 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 vast autism powers will not prevent us from not showing off because it's so fucking funny. But anyway, yeah, we had to show off because it was really fucking weird. Anyway, so okay, I I don't even know where the controller went. Uh, well, I guess it's being recorded now, so fuck it. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, well, I think we got some ironing out to do of the, of the desktop recording for you before we get back to this. <laughs> Not a big deal. All right, so very interesting game. Uh, very uh, cutesy thing. I don't know if I'd recommend anyone to actively go out of the way to play it, but it is still, it's got its charm. It's got merits to itself. I will definitely say that much. It's definitely kind of cute. Yeah, no, this is still a lot of fun for what it is. Buy a copy. You can probably get it for like 8 to $15. Did you see this? on sale at SakuraCon or what? yes I found them but I found all of the I need to show you that picture again I found all of the PS2 games yeah so I guess this all is all three of them I guess you could say this is blown the doors clean off at the possibility of actually uh doing bleach games for the PS2 because there are a handful we have not done there actually it's funny for Japanese releases we actually have not touched that many bleach games there is um yes we have well there are well I said Japanese well actually are kind of true oh I, I okay that generation specifically um, We've done nine Bleach uh, Japanese-only PS2 games. Uh, uh, Japanese-only game. I meant on this. I meant on the PS2. That's what more I was leaning towards. We did the one for the GameCube, but that's basically what we've done so far. But yeah, I guess from here we can start heading towards. They don't have a random button. If you're just between slots, that's your <laughs> random select. Do you want to like, I don't know, marathon the rest of the Bleach games for the PS2? One of those is an RPG, so I would have to figure it out. But Never yes, mind. I would love to play a Bleach RPG, even if I can't read it. I mean, we do still have the one for the DS we can do. Yeah. With self-insert Phil there, character, very funny. There's the other... Uh, um, there, There's Play Battle, there's two, of course. There's, yeah. One of them is just a, is an action game, like a beat-em-up. Yeah, I think... Wasn't there a fighting game, too? Or am I misremembering that? This is a fighting game. Well, yeah, it is kind of a fighting game. Okay, well, I guess with that, uh, we should probably wrap it up and call it a night because it is, it is unfortunately getting close to my bedtime. <laughs> God, I feel like an old man right now. Fucking hell. Let's get you Let's get you your dinner before 2 p.m., Grandpa. That would be fantastic. All right, hope you guys have a good, had a good one next time. I imagine... Okay, so I wouldn't Back see... Back in the One Piece mind? I mean, we can do Blade Battlers 2 if you... Whenever you get that running, but no, I think... All right, I'm definitely down to start practicing that basically immediately. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm probably going to focus on a different fighting game. I'm probably going to try to get Natural Blasters up and running. But right now, it's like fucking One Piece Unlimited World Red or JoJo Part 5 for the PS2. JoJo. JoJo, yeah. All right. Hope you guys have a good one. Uh, take care. And um, we stand kings who don't support pedophiles. <laughs> we, we we really do. It's the very low bar there, Oda-san. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying very low bar. Sometimes you gotta we look at. We don't let thinly veiled pedophiles also take over the sequel to our manga. Good work, Kishimoto. I'm gonna say it's probably more of a jump issue, but yeah, someone should probably rein that man in. Yeah, boy, do they. Yeah. All right. Good night. Good night.